The suspect who shot a San Jose officer last weekend was reportedly stalking police, what investigators are saying. That and more news coming up on SyncedIn. Hey everyone, there's an update on the shooting that left a San Jose police officer injured last Friday. The suspect has been identified, according to investigators, 38-year-old Noe Orlando Mendoza of San Jose, first shot at officers during a traffic stop. Officers had stopped him because he was apparently driving erratically. The officer shot back, no one was hit though, and the suspect fled. Responding officers then later tracked the suspect to a nearby home, where he opened fire again, this time hitting a SWAT officer in the hip. Chief Anthony Mata says the suspect had spent hours stalking police officers and likely wanted to kill one. Additionally, we are investigating a suspicious vehicle matching the description of the suspect's vehicle at the San Jose Police Headquarters early in the evening at approximately 8.15 p.m. Mendoza's pattern of stalking San Jose police officers at three locations around the city gives us some idea of the deliberate, premeditated nature of his intention to kill officers that night. However, the motive for his attacks is still under investigation. Chief Mata says after the arrest, the suspect kept asking if he had killed any officers. He's currently facing charges for attempted murder. Okay, in other local news, it happened in Pleasanton last year, and now it's happening on the peninsula. The San Mateo County Sheriff's Office posted this warning to Facebook on Monday about the Orbeez TikTok challenge, saying there have been multiple recent reports of gel ball gun attacks in San Carlos and Milbrae. Say the attacks have been mainly going on in the downtown areas at night. I spoke to the Sheriff's Office. They told me the suspects have all been described as teenagers and are shooting at not only people, but property and animals too. The incidents we've had here in San Mateo County, we do believe that all uh, incidents involve uh, teenagers. Uh, we don't believe it's the same group of teenagers, but uh, in all instances, it has been teenagers. Acosta says if the person participating in the TikTok challenge is a minor, the parents will be the ones held responsible. Equally as important is if you're a minor, your parents uh, may be on the hook civilly. If you decide to uh, participate in this trend, this challenge, you startle someone and they happen to, you know, for example, jump into the middle of the street to get away from the assault and uh, they're hit by a vehicle, you and your, your family will be uh, held uh, accountable. According to Acosta, maliciously firing these Orbeez can be punishable by fines, possible misdemeanor charges, and even a year of jail time, depending on the severity of the attack. All right, shifting gears, it seems like the 49ers have a new defensive coordinator. NFL's Tom Pelissero tweeted on Tuesday the San Francisco team is apparently hiring Steve Wilkes. He was reportedly interviewed on Monday for the position. Wilkes, by the way, is currently under contract with the Panthers. Niner fans, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Wilkes would be a good addition to the team? Let me know in the comments. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.